here with Photon, our football robot from last semester. Uh, we're getting ready for a demo tomorrow, so I'm just making sure that it's all working. Uh, we had previously repurposed some of the talons on this uh, shooter up here uh, for one of our shooting prototypes, or uh, late week one. So I was just sitting around, redid all the can IDs, and I'm just making sure that everything's wired back up. So, uh, all the wheels are spinning in the right direction again. The pneumatics are all wired up. This carriage doesn't fall apart as soon as I fire it. Uh, so I think we're ready for tomorrow. So right now we're at the technology demo uh, for the Grid Iron Talent at the Texas Southern University. And right now I uh, expect them to demo two of our robots. And we're showing our football robot from the NRG Football Challenge and one of our, pre our previous season robots. And we're shooting the football so the team can catch them. And Meanwhile, we're showing them all that we can do with technology and STEM and showing them that there's a lot of opportunity for them, even if they do like certain sports, and then they can always have so many chances to learn about these things. So this is our, in the process of building our climber. We're just going to go a simple design where we have a small diameter bar running between these two posts um, with Velcro on the bar and uh, the Velcro on the uh, strap as well the climber. Uh, we're going to mount a sprocket coming from the drivetrain. The climber will be powered from the drivetrain. We're thinking that the easiest way to do it is simply at the end of the match, uh, run one side of the, run the climber off of one side of the drivetrain. And so essentially just keep going forward. You want to start off the ground, just go forward on it. And we're not going to be using any gears, or initially we're not going to be, we're not planning on using any gears along uh, to gear it down. We're just going to run it directly off the drivetrain. As you see, we put on the two uh, posts. We have a rod uh, that the uh, strap will be wrapping around uh, in the giant bag. We have a giant bag with a sprocket right here. Uh, that's going to run directly. Uh, the chains run directly from this sprocket to the powertrain. Leanne said that these were half an inch apart, and because I don't want to measure it, they're half an inch apart. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 